Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And this is my first impressions look on the Anta Shock the Game 5.0. So this shoe is only going for $100, which is really, really cheap, especially for the tech that you're getting. And also some of the materials, hint, hint, the carbon fiber midfoot shank plate. And it's a $100 shoe, that's pretty insane, right? But anyways, if you guys do want to get it, I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started right away with the Tractiones, right? And uh, the traction, they say specifically on Famuji's site that this outsole was specifically designed for outdoor use. So if you're going to play on an outdoor court, you should be fine. Uh, durability should be good. And just feeling from the rubber, the rubber is actually pretty damn hard. So uh, I feel like durability is going to be very good. And also if you look at the highway areas, which I really like what they did here as well. If you look in the forefoot where the ball of your foot is, that's where a highway area is, right? That's where you're putting a lot of force and a lot of pressure when you're playing basketball. And they put more grooves right there. And then here in the heel more on like the lateral side that's also a place where you put more pressure and uh you, they put more grooves there as well so that's a really nice little touch and also trying it on my wood floors the bite is insane guys the squeak is very high pitched super loud it kind of reminds me of the jordan 31 which is insane that's how loud it is right so i feel like it's going to be really good of course you know it's just on my wood floors Hopefully it's not like the Jordan 31 where remember when I first got it, I was like, yo, this is so squeaky and it seems like it's going to be a good bite. And then I took it out on the court and like slides, it was sliding like crazy. Hopefully it's, that's not the case here. But as far as my first impressions go, the outsole seems really, really good. All right. Also, as you guys can see here in the middle of the outsole, we can see a carbon fiber midfoot shank plate. And now moving on to the heel to toe transition, I feel like it's going to be very, very smooth, right? So uh, this shoe looks pretty bulky. No, it looks like it, right? It looks kind of bulky. It looks a little heavy as well. We're going to go over weight a little bit later. Um, but it seems pretty damn smooth and very fluid, right? So here in the heel, look, as you guys can see, the cushion, this foam is pretty much fully exposed. None of it is caged. And we have a nice curve shape as well. And then here in the forefoot, we got a nice curve shape. And a lot and a lot of forefoot flex. So heel to toe transition seems pretty damn smooth. I like it so far. And now moving on to the cushioning setup, and that's probably one of my favorite parts about this shoe, right? So they're using a flash edge. Remember, like they have a flash foam and the a flash foam plus 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 or whatever. <laughs> now it's a flash edge. So I'm not 100% sure what they did different as far as the foam goes, but they're saying it's a high rebound cushion. And not only that, but it's just extremely soft and it's really, really thick here in the shoe. And uh, the midsole is pretty much fully exposed here in the heel. It does it cage up a good amount here in the forefoot on the lateral side, especially. But yeah, yeah, here in the heel, it's really soft. There's a nice rebound back. It seems kind of bouncy as well. We'll have to see though. I did jog around a little bit. I was kind of like, you know, jumping around in the shoe just to test it out just a tiny bit. And yeah, the foam feels really, really nice, especially here in the forefoot too. The forefoot feels nice. The insole is super comfortable as well. So th there is a little bit of a, like, uh, it's not really a pod. I just feel like they made the insole, like in the heel area, a little bit thicker. The forefoot's pretty thin, uh, but that actually does improve the step in comfort. And this dribble board, even though it looks stiff, but then like when you feel it, it actually feels kind of soft, you know, not super soft. Uh, but there is a little bit of give and you can feel the A-flash edge foam uh, pretty well. So step in comfort, super comfortable, uh, very soft, seems pretty bouncy as well. Court feel doesn't seem the best though. You know, it's not the best court feel, but that's probably something that they sacrifice for the extra cushion. Uh, but so far, I, I like how it feels, you know. And now moving on to the materials, we got some mesh, kind of like a textile mesh. It is pretty glued down. It's not terrible quality, but I don't think it's like the best quality material. And also on foot, I mean, it is super thin, so it feels like it's conforming to my foot pretty well, but I can feel a little bit of pinching, just a tiny bit. And I definitely feel like it's gonna break in really easily and very quickly as well, uh, to the point where obviously there's gonna be no pinching, but right now it's not feeling like the best quality material. Like I said, I do like how thin it is. Here in the tip of the toe, we have a little bit of rubber coming up, or I guess a softer plastic. And so if you do crazy toe drags, <laughs> uh, you're gonna be covered, I guess, right? And also, I guess that's a good thing if you're playing on an outdoor court, you know? Uh, <laughs> if you do a toe drag, you don't want 
this part to have a hole, right? Coming here into the midfoot, we got some plastic, right? So this green piece here in the midfoot on the lateral side, it kind of cages the cushion and comes up and also acts as a lateral counter. There is a good amount of fuse as well on this upper. And on the medial side, we got some like really cheap feeling like synthetic suede material. And then here in the back, there's a little bit of a external heel counter kind of uh i feel like there is mostly internal all right moving on to the tongue we have pretty much a full-on mesh tongue super thin there's not much padding to it there's not a whole lot of stretch either and it's an independent tongue usually i'm not a huge fan of independent tongues because it does move around like when you're playing it does move around from left to right so you always got to constantly like uh fix it so that it's in the middle right but i don't think that's going to be an issue because if you look at look at the laces there are two lace loops here in the middle of the tongue that will keep the tongue in place so that's probably not going to be a huge deal and then coming up here into the ankle area we have of course achilles pillows which feels awesome helps with lockdown and makes the fit overall uh, very comfortable here in the ankle area and uh, i feel like most or all chinese companies have this so i like that you know nike and adidas and under armor need to uh, get on that you know they've been you know adding it in a lot of their shoes and a lot of their models but i feel like chinese companies they just always have that you know so that's nice so um as far as the quality goes i mean for a hundred dollars this mesh material like i said is thin it's a little flimsy and also on foot it, there's a little bit of pinching but i feel like it'll break in nicely all right moving on to the fit so the fit is a little weird for me, right? So I went true to size. There's a little bit of length, uh, just a tiny bit. I would say probably like a centimeter or two of length or extra length here, which usually isn't a huge deal for me, but I don't like the toe space, right? So as you guys can see, uh, the material, uh, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a snug fit here in the forefoot. It kind of dips down a little bit. And then where my big toe is, or I guess like my toes are, there is a little bit of space where this kind of like rubber toe cap is, you know? So I don't like how that feels. So uh, the fit is weird, you know, um, maybe go down half a size if you want a really snug fit. If you don't mind the extra toe space and the extra kind of like little bit of length, true to size, you should be fine. If you have a wide foot, probably go up half a size. Width wise, I would say it's around normal width. And then also here in the midfoot area, it's a nice snug fit as well. And uh, once you tighten up the laces, you can definitely feel the lockdown of this shoe. Also, this shoe has a very tall and a very large heel tab. So it, it makes the shoe a little bit easier to put on, but it is a mid-cut shoe. So it's not the easiest shoe to put on, but the heel tab definitely does help with that. All right, moving on to the supporting lockdown for lateral containment. Uh, <laughs> it's probably going to be super good, right? As you guys can see here in the forefoot, we got the foam coming up. We got this plastic piece, which they're calling a shock stabilizer. Ooh, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that obviously will help with stability and also lateral containment. Here in the midfoot, like I mentioned, we got this green plastic piece. And then here in the heel, we got an internal TPU heel counter, as well as this foam. Like, look at this. Look at how much this foam comes up here in the heel. So lateral containment, I feel like it's gonna be good. And then for lateral stability, there is a crazy outrigger. This shoe is super wide. So lateral stability is probably gonna be good. And also, like I mentioned before, this shoe, this cut is kind of like a mid cut. So it kind of goes over your ankle bone a little bit. So ankle support is probably gonna be good as well. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. I mean, it looks pretty heavy, right? It looks heavy, it looks bulky, like I said in the beginning of the video. I'm guessing like 13.5, 14 ounces maybe? Oh, okay, so 13.33 ounces. So I guess like it's a, it's a little bit lighter than I imagined, but um, it's definitely not a super light feeling shoe. It does feel a little bulky here in the heel, um, but I don't think this shoe is designed for like, you know, to, to be the lightest or most minimal feeling shoe. It's probably designed for like support, a lot of cushion, you know, for like bigger guys, you know, forwards or even centers. So uh, this shoe, I mean, if you're that position or you like to have a, like a really well cushioned shoe with a lot and a lot of support, that's probably what this shoe was made for, right? I, you can still feel responsive though, right? The traction seems really good. I mean, the cushion hopefully isn't too soft. I don't feel too laggy or anything, uh, but it does feel comfortable. And uh, the support and all that feels good as well, especially for lateral containment. So um, hopefully I like it because as you guys all know, I'm a guard and I like to use my speed. And if I have like a, a bulky, kind of like bulky feeling or a heavy shoe, it's not the best feeling for me personally. So anyways, there's a weight there. As far as the aesthetics go, I actually really like it. Whoever designed this did a really good job in just blending everything together, right? It looks like there's a lot going on, but I feel like everything comes well together to complement each other as far as the design goes. And it, it looks great. This colorway looks great as well. And the shoe looks dope on foot. 
So uh, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, $100, guys, $100, you get full length a flash edge foam which is super comfortable i mean for 100 bucks nike and adidas they're gonna give you eva or fine lock <laughs> you know what i mean with a crappy like zoom unit you which you can barely feel you know and you get a carbon fiber midfoot chain plate and it's, it's just getting good value you know so anta uh, as you guys all know anta for uh, in my opinion gives you the best bang for your buck shoes so hopefully this shoe is a banger it's feeling super nice so far like i said it's probably not gonna be or it's not like my style of shoe uh but hopefully i do enjoy playing in this shoe uh, again if you guys do want to get it i'll try to leave a link in the description box but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one